PLC communicates with various devices in many ways. In this video, you will learn several types of communication that PLC supports. Serial RS-232C and RS-422-485 and Ethernet communication are main types of PLC communication. The term for communication method is different for each manufacturer, but LS Electric calls RS-232C, 422, and 485 as CNET, and LS Ethernet as RAPINET. Through these various communication methods, data can be exchanged with various devices. In this video, we will learn about CNET communication. CNET communication of LS Electric stands for Computer Link Network, and it is based on RS-232C, 422, and 485. LS Electric CNET basically supports XGT protocol, Modbus RTU protocol, Modbus ASCII protocol, and LS Bus protocol. If you want to use any other communication protocol, you must write your own protocol using user-defined function. CNET communication is a basic communication method that can easily exchange data with various devices in the industrial field. CNET with host controller like PC, HMI, and SCADA is possible, and communication between PLCs can be used. In addition, it is also possible to connect with sub-devices and various measuring instruments to give commands to each device and receive status values or measured values. LS-CNET communication is a method of transmitting one-bit data at a set speed through a single signal line. It uses an asynchronous communication method that does not transmit synchronous clock signals at the same time. So the data bit, stop bit, parity bit, and communication speed settings between communication devices must be the same. The master and slave must be set separately between devices for the CNET communication. Basically, the master requests data and the slave responds. When data is transmitted using CNET, data is transmitted one bit at a time along the signal line, so the actual data transmission proceeds as follows. Next, we will introduce the modules used for CNET communication. There are three types of modules available for CNET communication in XGT series which are medium and large PLCs, type XGL-C22B, XGL-CH2B, and XGL-C42B. XGL-C22B module has two ports for RS-232C, XGL-CH2B module has one RS-232C port, and one RS-422-485 port, and XGL-C42B has two ports for RS-422-485. In the XGB series, LS Electric's small PLC, built-in CNET communication, including RS-232C and RS-485, is possible. There are additional modules such as XBL-C21A and XBL-C41A. From now on, I will explain the main LEDs of the communication module. When the CNET module operates normally, Run LED turns on. IF LED is a CPU interface LED which indicates the communication status between the CPU and the communication module. When the LED is blinking, the interface between the CPU and the communication module is operating normally. In the case of the module's TX and RX LEDs, it turns on when the actual frame has been transmitted and received. TX LED lights up when data is sent, 
and RX LED lights up when data is received. Error LED lights up when an error occurs. TER LED is an LED related to terminating resistance. When communicating with RS422485, you can activate the terminating resistor in XG5000. TER LED lights up when the terminating resistor is active. Let's take a look at the wiring method for CNET communication. First of all, I will explain how to wire RS-232C communication. RS-232C communication is wired using 9-pin connector. At this time, pin number 2 is used as RX, received data. Pin number 3 is used as TX, transmitted data. And pin number 5 is used as SG, signal ground. Therefore, when the request message is transmitted from the master PLC to slave device, the master's TX must be connected to the external device's RX acting as a slave. Slave's response message comes from the slave's TX and needs to be connected to the master's RX, so pins 2 and 3 must be connected. In addition, the SG ground for signal must be connected to each other. RS-422 is a full duplex communication method in which the transmission line and the reception line are separated. In the case of RS-422 one-to-one communication, you need to wire TX plus and TX minus, the transmission signals of the master to RX plus and RX minus of the slave. The slave's TX plus and TX minus signals must be wired to the master's RX plus and RX minus. And the signal ground SG and frame ground PE should be connected one to one. In the case of RS-422 communication, one to N communication is possible. In one to N communication, one master can communicate with multiple slaves. The wiring method at this time is as follows. Since multiple slaves need to receive the signal from the master, TX plus and TX minus of the master are connected to RX plus and RX minus pins of the slave, respectively. Likewise, the slave's TX plus and TX minus should be connected to the master's RX plus and RX minus. For one-to-end communication, terminating resistors must be installed at both ends of the system. Additionally, in the case of B-type CNET module, it is possible to activate the terminating resistor in XG5000. RS-485 is a half-duplex communication method, which is a communication method that wires transmission and reception lines together. When performing one-to-one -one communication via RS-485, TX plus and RX plus must be connected to each other, and RX minus and TX minus must be connected to each other. Master and slave TX plus and RX plus are connected to each other to make sure TRX plus and TRX minus and RX minus are connected to make TRX minus. And TRX plus on the master is connected to TRX plus on the slave side. And TRX minus on the master is connected to TRX minus on the slave. In addition, the signal ground SG and frame ground PE should be connected one to one. Therefore, the transmission reception line between CNET interface module and external device is connected. So you can send and receive data through half-duplex communication. 
RS-485 is also capable of 1 to N communication like RS-422. All slaves are connected binding TX plus and RX plus, and connections need to be made between each slave's TRX plus and between TRX minus, respectively. You can install terminating resistors at both ends of the system or select whether to activate terminating resistors in XG5000. Thank you for watching.